Okay, hi everybody. I just want to do a, a quick video here to remind you about how we, we factor trinomials using decomposition. I'm not going to go through and explain why the method works at this point. Um, I just want to quickly show you and remind you how to do it. So what we do to start off with here uh, using this method is we're going to take the first term, okay, the quadratic term, we're going to multiply it by the constant term here. Okay, and so we're going to get a product. And in this case, when I multiply those two together, I'm going to get a product of 30x squared. And then remember that when, when you use uh, distribution to create uh, this trinomial, when you're multiplying two binomials together, we added the two middle terms together to get the uh, that middle term here. So you want to think of it like this. This is your first terms. This is the sum of your OI, and this is your L. That's, if you're using FOIL as that acronym to kind of get you uh, through that procedure here, that's what's going on here. So the sum of those two middle terms here, here is 17x here. Now, what I'm interested in, are finding the two terms whose product is 30x squared, whose sum is 17x. And it probably won't take you long to realize that that's got to be 15x and 2x. And so now what I do is I go back to my, my trinomial here, and I'm going to rewrite that 17x as the sum of those two terms. So plus 15x plus 2x plus 10. And when you take a quick look at what I've done here, you realize I've actually done nothing. Okay. 17 X is in fact, 15 X plus two X. I've, I've done nothing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group together the first two terms and the last two terms. And I got to be careful about this. And in the next example, I'll, I'll show you why. But then what we do is what's common to those first two terms. Well, there's going to be a three X common to both of those. And that's going to leave me with an X plus five. Uh, in this next set of parentheses here, there's a common factor of two. When I take that out, I get a common, sorry, I get this X plus five and notice that that X plus five is now a common factor. So I can take out the X plus five and that leaves me with a three X from the first term and a plus two from the second term. And there we go. I've now factored three X squared plus 17 X plus 10 and it is equal to X plus five times three X plus tw uh, two. I can do the exact same thing with this next one here. Numbers are going to get a little weird though. 6x squared multiplied by 28 is going to give me a product of 168x squared. And I can see that my sum here is going to be negative 29x. Now, perhaps you're not 100% familiar with the pro, uh, sorry, the factors of 168. That's okay. One thing I can suggest here is a, a little cheat on this one here is to go to your calculator and into your we press Y equals, if you've got like a graphing calculator, Y equals, and go in there and press 168 divided by X. And then go to your table of values. And as you scroll down the table of values, I'm looking for those pair of factors that add together to get me 29. Okay, because you should see that. The X value will be what you're seeing here. And then the Y value, if it's a nice number here, that's going to be the other factor there. And it doesn't take you long to realize that the numbers that I'm looking for here are going to be negative 21 x and negative 8x. And so now I can come back here and make this 6x squared minus 21x minus 8x plus 28. Now I'm going to group together the first two terms and the last two terms. But the, the danger here is I need to make sure that there's an addition between the two of them. If, if I don't do this, I run a chance, a very, very strong chance of inadvertently factoring a negative out incorrectly. I do not want to put a parenthesis right there like that, okay? That is that is going to cause me an issue there because I will have factored it out of the 8x but not out of the 28. Now I take out what's common to those two terms, and in this case, it's going to be a 2x, which will leave me 3x minus 7. And here I'm going to take out the 4, the negative 4 actually, and that's going to get me, oh, sorry, I meant to take out a 3x there. Wow. I meant to take out a 3x. That's going to leave me with a 2x uh, minus 7. Sorry about that. I take out the negative four, that's gonna leave me with a two X minus seven. And now I've got this common two X minus seven that I can factor out of both of those terms that will leave me with a three X from the first term and a negative four from the second term. 